Whenever someone signs a big money contract in the National Football League, it, it always comes back to how does this affect us? How does this affect me and my favorite squadron, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings? Enter one Fred Warner. The San Francisco 49ers just made him the highest paid off-ball linebacker in NFL history. Five years, 95 million bucks, 40 and a half million guaranteed. Woo! 19 million per year average, just absolutely blowing up the off-ball linebacker market, destroying it, destroying. Now with the Vikings, of course, of course, it comes back to Eric Kendricks, for my money, the best inside linebacker in the National Football League. He's in the third year of his five-year $50 million deal. By the way, agents, no more five-year deals ever. They never turn out great. Uh, he signed that before the 2018 season. Stat-wise, last year, here's how he stacked up against Warner and Colts' Darius Leonard, who's also going to get $19 million plus uh, from Indianapolis. And remember, Kendricks only played 11 games because he had that weird calf injury, so it's whatever. But average more tackles per game, more passes broken up per game, more interceptions, better quarterback rating, and 82.6 PFF grade. So even at 29, he stacks up very comparably to Warner and Leonard, and he still is the best coverage linebacker in the game. So if I'm Kendricks, and my contract, I'm making $10 million per year while the other two are making 19 Could give you a little cause for pause. Be like, huh. Things that make you go, huh. Uh, especially since that contract's out of guaranteed money. And I know. People will be like, "Dur, He signed the contract and he has to honor it. That's literally not how it works in the NFL. Like, it never, ever works that way uh, in sports. Especially when the deal has been lapped by the market so significantly. And especially when it's out of guaranteed money, which Kendrick's deal is after this season. Now, K Eric Kendricks has never seemed to me to be a guy who's been all about the money. Like, he didn't max out when he signed his deal in 2018. Remember, that was the offseason where Daniil did. Diggs, Xavier, and Kendricks were all free agents. He was the first one to sign. Like, got done right away. Five years, 50 million bucks. And it was a steal at the time. It, it, it didn't even make him the highest paid off-ball linebacker in the game. Keekley and Bobby Wagner were still way above him. And he's not made a peep about the money, even though he signed a five-year below-market deal. But Daniil didn't make a peep either until he did, right? The money wasn't an issue until it became an issue. So Kendricks, who turns 30 in February, maybe he would like one more massive deal instead of letting his below market deal uh, expire. And then he's a 32 year old inside linebacker free agent, which traditionally does not get a lot of money. Like you're not gonna get paid a lot at that stage. Plus his best friends on the team are Daniil Hunter, Anthony Barr, and Eric Wilson, now with the Eagles. And the team punted on Wilson, they let him go for pennies. They squeezed Daniil and Barr, but ultimately trimmed years off so they could hit free agency. So maybe Eric Kendrick's like, huh. So they kind of did my friends dirty. They let one go. And my contract is gonna be about half be about half with the top guys at my position, what my peers make, even though I'm still at the top of that heap. Huh, huh, huh. And if Kendricks has another Pro Bowl or All-Pro season in 2021, maybe next offseason with two years remaining on his contract, maybe then you start seeing some posturing. And I would be all for it, by, by the way. Like, I still think that Eric Kendricks has five maybe six good years of high quality football left in him but with the cap going up next year and the vikings still hovering around 14 million in space yes take care of guys like brian o'neill that should be a priority take care of harrison smith make sure he ends his career in purple but eric hendricks uh, again the best off-ball linebacker in the game yeah, his contract his little drinky poo might need some freshening up too hey barkeep that's right spielman go get it done brzezinski make it work uh-huh there you go. Uh, beer thoughts. How does the Fred Warner mega deal affect Eric Hendricks? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.